Hey guys, Redneck Reaper here. It's my first video in an extremely long time, uh, but I felt I felt that I needed to do this video not only because of the product, uh, but because I'd been doing a buttload of research online, trying to find a smart switch that would go in a four-way circuit without having to buy a bunch of switches and I decided to test out something and it worked. So the product I'm talking about today is the GoSun three-way kit that comes with two three-way smart switches. These switches work with the Smart Life app. So let's get to it. As a disclaimer, I do want to say that whenever you're messing with an electrical circuit or anything electrical in your home, you do want to make sure to go to the breaker box and disconnect the power. So cut the breaker off uh, to that circuit. That way you minimize any risk to yourself or your home. So uh, what I have is a four-way circuit that first entering the hallway and this, this is the end of the four-way circuit. I have this switch that on this side, you've got the ground and then you've got a gold terminal down at the bottom. That's housing one of the travelers. And on the other side, we have the black terminal, which is the load or the live terminal. And then we have a gold one at the bottom, which as you can see, it's got that red wire coming out of it. That's the second traveler. So we have that. We have, whoo, passed it, <laughs> one, two, three lights, and in the middle, we have this single switch, which when you look at it, we have the ground, we've got a black terminal, a gold terminal, and on the other side, we have another black terminal and another gold terminal. So that's going to be... Your two loads, one coming from each direction, along with your traveler. And then we come to the GoSun switch, which can't really see anything, but it does fit really nicely into the box. So how about we see what's actually in the box, which half of the box is going to be used. Um, but on the back, we have all this information about the three-way kit. It's got a 16 amp max output. Uh, you can install this on a 20 amp circuit, but just know that the load that the switches are being utilized for. So the amount of amps that the lights or whatever device uh, you have them turning on and off, make sure that it is 16 amps or less. Um, most of the circuits in my home are 15 amp. I didn't want it that way. The place building the house screwed it up. <laughs> I asked for 20. But anyway, so you've got all this information on the back. Really nice packaging. Really straightforward. So right when you open it up, you'll have your two switches. Like I said, I've already installed one, so that's why one's missing. But you've got your switch. Take out this little cardboard piece, and you've got two bags. And inside these bags, you'll have two electrical wing nuts, I know there's no wings, but that's what I've always called them. Three terminal screws. They're the small gold screws. Two long screws, which you can utilize to attach the smart switch to, your, to the blue or gray or red or orange electrical box that's housing the switch. And then they also have little screws 
in case you want to use your own wall plate, in case you don't want to use the provided wall plate. And they, of course, provide two wall plates. Now, these wall plates, they just snap on. Because you'll notice on the top of the switch, you have these two slots. And on the bottom of the switch, they're there as well. That is for these four places to lock in. And then, of course, you have your installation guide, which is nice and long, very informative, explains a lot of things in regards to both the application and the switch itself. So since I already have this installed in the circuit, I'm just going to give you a breakdown because uh, you can look back in the video and I, I show you the wires uh, that are in the three-way switch um, because the circuit is two three-ways, one at the beginning, one at the end, and then the four-way in the middle. And again, the four-way is the one that has two load terminals and two traveler terminals. The others only have, the three-ways only have one load or live terminal and then your two travelers. So this is the, this is the original three-way that went in there. So you've got the place for your ground. You've got a gold one on the bottom gold one on the bottom over here and a black one at the top so your black one is going to be your live or your load wire and then the two at the bottom are going to be your travelers and again i can't stress enough whenever you're messing with electricity make sure to have your breaker box turned off that way you reduce the risk of electrocuting yourself or causing a spark that burns down your house so, with that being said, the way that I was able to figure out where, which one of the three ways housed my load wire was, of course, turned off the breaker, and I went into that first box that I showed you at the beginning of the hallway. I pulled that out from, the, out from inside the electrical box, and I disconnected this load wire and I pulled it off way to the side to where it was nowhere near anything. Then I went back to the breaker box and I turned it on and I used a voltage finder. Uh, you can get those at Office Depot, Lowe's, uh, Walmart. Uh, they're, they're relatively cheap. Um, I've got a Milwaukee and I've also got a Klein Tools, uh, I shop at Home Depot. What can I say? They've got me as a customer for life. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I use that and turn it on. And my two traveler wires had voltage. But the load wire had no voltage. So that was telling me that the power was coming from the first outlet, that that was the first outlet in the circuit. So then I went back, turned off the breaker, connected this back, put it back in the wall. So if you remember back in the pictures, I had a red wire for one traveler, a black wire for another traveler, and a black wire for a load, and then a copper wire for my ground. So now we're going to take a look at the back of the GoSun switch. So they've got two wires here, and that's what the two wing nuts in the packaging is for. This yellow and green wire is your ground wire. So that will be connected, in my case, to the copper wire. The the white wire or the neutral wire 
as you can tell on the on the original switch there was not a place for this these were twisted together and just housed inside the box so all i had to do was pull those wires out undo the twist put this in the twist and twist it back so those two were connected well now we've got a live traveler one traveler two so we've already got our ground and our neutral plugged in. So the three gold terminal screws go in here. So go ahead and set them in there and make sure that, you know, by looking into these holes that you don't push it all the way down. So just go ahead and just get them started to where they're in there and it makes the installation so much easier. So now that you've got all of the wires disconnected off of your original switch, you're going to need to cut these back because when it comes to this switch, they're going to be curled up. They're going to be curled up around the terminal for the most part. Now, in some cases, uh, there's uh, electricians that have used the clamp style, which still has a screw but it allows you to just cut a flat area of the wire and slide it in the side, clamp it down. Uh, if you have that, then you can go ahead and forget about cutting it back. Because um, for the most part, you sh un unless it's just stupid long, you should be able to utilize that. You may have to trim it back, but uh, in regards to these, you're going to have about three quarters of an inch to an inch worth of copper that's wrapped around this. So you will need to cut that back. So a good rule of thumb, cut it back to about half an inch, push it into one of these holes. How much of the copper is being shown in outside of this plastic housing? Trim it down that far because what you want is the shielding to be completely up against this plastic. That's going to minimize any risks of electrical issues. So once you do that for all three of those, you slide your load wire or your live wire here into the middle, screw that down, get one of the travelers, put it into here, get the other traveler, put it into here. So how about now we test this out? You, you've seen kind of a rough way of how to install it. I do apologize that I wasn't making this video when I was actually doing the installation. I was, like I said, I was testing something out, uh, but I, I felt that I had to do this video to give you the results of it and let the world know the, uh, about this Ghost Hunt product and about how it'll work. So as you can tell, Lights are off. Turn on the hallway. Okay, turning hallway on. So, of course, that works. Well, now I can flip it off with the switch and turn on the hallway. Got it. Turning hallway on. So we were able to cut it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. Well, actually, we'll turn it on. Turn off the hallway. Sure, turning off hallway. And when it's off, we can flip it back on. And of course, from the switch itself, you can just push the button down at the bottom, cut things on and off.